Hi everyone, this is the another property on eigenvalues and eigenvectors. See the statement. If lambda is an eigenvalue, if lambda is an eigenvalue of a non-singular matrix capital A, then det A by lambda is the eigenvalue of the matrix adjoint A. Previous property is if lambda is the eigenvalue of A, then 1 by lambda is the eigenvalue for the matrix A inverse. Here det A by lambda becomes eigenvalue for the matrix adjoint A. Okay, this is also important property C. Let lambda be an eigenvalue of eigenvalue of a non-singular matrix. Of a non-singular matrix. What is the mean by non-singular matrix capital A? Its debt is not equal to 0 and uh, a inverse is exist finitely and A inverse is exists finitely. Also this eigenvalue should be non-zero. If A is a singular matrix then at least one of their eigenvalues is zero. If A is a non-singular matrix then none of that eigenvalues are not equal to zero. Okay, All are get only non-zero eigenvalues and uh, since lambda is is an eigenvalue of a you know that for every eigenvalue there exists an eigenvector so i will take that eigenvector as there exists a there exists an eigenvector x1 of a so that is what is the definition of eigenvector x1 is a non zero solution this is a non zero solution of the system what is that system already you see uh, you saw in problems also it would be a minus lambda i of x is equal to o okay so since x1 is the non zero solution of the system this x1 should satisfy this equation so if and only if you will get a minus lambda i of x1 is equal to 0 i will write this one as a x1 minus lambda i x1 is equal to so this can be written as if and only if a x1 minus i x1 is nothing but x1 by using identity property in the matrices so a x1 is equal to lambda x1 so this is the result so by taking an eigenvalue lambda for an for a matrix a and uh, respect to eigenvector you are getting this equation since we need the eigenvalue for the adjoint a i will pre multiply this equation with adjoint a so pre multiply with the adjoint a on both sides so you will get adjoint a into a x1 is equal to adjoint a into lambda x1 so by using associative law in matrices product i am writing this one as adjoint a into a into x1 you can just interchange the brackets it's enough so since lambda is the constant right outside from the matrix lambda into adjoint a into x1 so now we are going to write the formula of what is adjoint a into a from the basic knowledge on the matrices you know that what is adjoint a sorry what is a inverse inverse of a is equal to 1 by det a into adjoint a from this what is adjoint a a inverse into det a a inverse into det a multiply with a on both sides you will get adjoint a into a is equal to det a is the constant term a inverse into a it would be i everybody knows that a into a inverse otherwise a inverse into a is i that's why i am replacing adjoint a into a by det a into i of x1 
is equal to lambda into a joint a into x1 okay now again interchange the brackets det a into i x1 is equal to lambda into a joint a into x1 so what is i x1 it would be x1 so det a is into x1 is equal to lambda into a joint a into x1 see one more step is there since lambda is a non zero real number i will divide the entire equation with lambda so you will get det a by lambda into x1 in the product we have x1 is equal to a joint a into this lambda this lambda gets cancelled so a joint a into x1 that is first you can write this one so a joint the matrix a into x1 is equal to det a by lambda into x1 so this shows that this number should be eigen value of this matrix according to the equation number 1 so this shows that det a by lambda is an eigen value of a joint a and uh, x1 is the same eigen vector respect to det a by lambda no doubt at all okay only eigen value will be changed there is no change in the eigen vector okay and don't forget one important point suppose we have the relation matrix b into some eigen vector x1 here is equal to lambda 1 x1 then this equation means lambda 1 is the eigen value of this matrix b in the similar way here we have a joint a into x1 is equal to det a by lambda into x1 that's why det a by lambda should be eigen value for this matrix okay according to the definition of eigen vector i got this in the next video i will give some more examples and properties on eigen values thank you very much